Long ago, there were these big, powerful, monstrous reptiles that breathed fire and ruled the land with an iron stomach. They were the dragons. And underneath them were loyal clans that served them for generations. Through thick and thin, hot and cold, they were called kobolds. There was me, Strap the Trap Maker. Me, Book the Booker. And there was Nom, the Helfer. Nom! Did you do the long ago bit yet? Yeah, we did. Because I like that bit. Can we do it again? We already did. Long ago, there was Cardboard. Nom, come on! And there was me. What happened to your doodle, Nom? I got hungry. W what do we do? Uh, oh, hang on. Ah! Someone bit off my face! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. Hey, hang on. Greetings. My name is Kennedy Phillips. I'm what you would call a sound designer. A sound designer is basically just a fancy word for someone who bangs pots together for money. You may actually know some of my work from projects like... There's also... Unknown vessel still closing his turn. Clear for action. <laughs> Get away from those, you sheep! Oh, I'm and... You get the idea. You know, I love sound design. It's the perfect way to tell a story without having any visual talent whatsoever. And trust me, I have no visual talent whatsoever. But if there is one thing I know I do have, is noise talent. It's a lot better than it sounds. For those of you who aren't familiar, an audio drama is a form of audio-only entertainment that used to be played on the radio, before television invented YouTube. One you might know of is a radio play of The War of the Worlds by Orson Welles. This world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man. Right now, I'm looking to do a new show entirely on a much smaller scale. It's called Clutch, a cobalt story. But you're not hurt. If I drink more when I'm not hurt, I'll never get hurt. Has that ever worked? I like the taste. In Clutch, it takes place in the same universe as my other show, Magus Elgar, but many, many years in the past, during the Age of Dragons. Kobolds are frantic little creatures about three feet tall who worship dragons. They're silly, not very smart, and have very short attention spans. There are heroes in this tale. In the deep recesses of the dormant volcano of Mount Krakum resides a great dragon, the benevolent Gaujinvor the Crimson. His kobold servants, the clan Fine, you're a clan now, let me sleep, or Clan Fine for short, answer to his every beck and call and test his every nerve. Uh, at least they did, until Gaujinvor developed a tragic case of the not alive. Uh, contagious, I'm told. So it's up to three kobolds to find a new master before the dreaded dragon slayer Krillia Spine Shatter comes to destroy Clan Fine. There's Book the Booker, resident scribe and literally the only one that knows how to read. If you got some time to spare, I can tell you about my favorite fonts. Maybe later. Nom, the resident healer who really only knows how to drink healing potions. If I just keep drinking these healing potions, I'll be a mo- a mo I won't die! And the leader of the expedition, the clever trap maker, Strap. I'm the one that kills the master! Well, that's... that's just great, Strap, but you probably shouldn't be proud of that. Oh yeah, I forgot. We'll be making a audio drama about six episodes in length. That's about 30 to 35 minutes per episode. 
will have full voice acting, sound design, composing, foley, all recorded at Scenic Melody Gun Studios in Hollywood, California, with the assistance of the wonderful people over at Network Nexus. We really want to thank you for taking the time to listen to our proposal, and we really hope that you decide to back us. With your help, we'll be able to give the Kobolds an adventure of their own. Until then, this is Kennedy Phillips thanking you for watching this video. I was that close.